What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, well, I thought I was done with the uh, DIY uh, automated watering, garden watering system this year, but uh, turns out I wasn't uh, because I ran into a problem. And the problem I ran into was, <clears throat> in order for this to work while I'm on vacation, I have to leave this valve open <clears throat> uh, from the, the tote. Um, and then the timer will control the pump and it'll come on and pump water through the the tubing and over to my garden. So that part works great. <clears throat> However, what happens is the pump, you know, the pressure, when it stops, the pressure drops, the, the pump is no longer running, but it stays high enough with um, <clears throat> you know, the adhesion properties of water basically that the water still travels through the lines and drips out of the sprayers. Um, so, the, you know, the water tension, the water adhesion, whatever you call it, um, once it gets moving, it doesn't want to stop moving. So I will come out here and I'll find a big puddle underneath uh, each of these, these sprayers because it'll continue to not even just a drip, it's a pretty much a steady flow of a trickle of water. So I don't want that to happen. So what I've got is I ordered a valve that will also be controlled by the timer right here. So this is a 12 volt valve. It's normally closed, meaning when it's when power is not applied to this, it will close itself and it should shut off any flow of water to the uh, irrigation system so that I don't get any leaking over time. So in order to make this work I also had to get another one of these uh, female to female adapters for the for the uh, you know to put one on this end and one onto the uh, the pump. <clears throat> so basically when when this timer fires off and uh, sends the power. I will wire up with this extra wire I had laying around. Uh, I'll wire it so that basically this valve and the pump get power at the same time. And then the other thing about this, this valve is that it, it requires some water pressure to operate. It requires at least 3 PSI and you know more than that ideally. So even if power was applied to this uh, you, the, if the pump wasn't on, it still wouldn't open up. It requires some pressure coming in f through this side in order to fully open the valve. Anyway, so just so you know on that, uh, and I'll post a link to where you can buy this thing if you're if you're curious or interested. Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and wire in to the same terminal here, to the same load side of of the timer. Uh, and then I'll wire it along the same lines down and out and through the shed and over to this valve and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I've got the extra wires put in here on the load side and they follow the other wiring all the way around my desk area and down and through that, that hole over there and comes out over here and yes I do need to uh, provide some element ex uh, protection from exposure to the elements for this stuff but I just I need to get it working first so uh, anyway and then it comes over here and just uses normal connectors spade connectors I believe they're called to uh, to connect on to the valve so you have to tighten these down pretty good. I, I did a test a second ago and it leaked, so got to tighten these down pretty hard. The wrench. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. This uh, this valve's all the way open, and there's nothing dripping, which is good. There's also nothing coming out of the the heads. But let's go ahead and turn it on, and we'll see what happens. water coming out of the sprinkler heads.
So everything's working thus far. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for about 10 minutes. That's about how long I feel comfortable letting the uh, the pump run because it gets a little bit hot. Um, so I'm gonna let it run about 10 minutes, make sure that it can handle that because um, the valve may get um, a little warm as well. Okay, this thing's been running for about 10 minutes, so we'll go ahead and turn it off. And go see how hot this thing is. I just worry that it's going to burn up. Pump is very, very hot, like normal. I mean, you can't you can't put your fingers on it for very long. Uh, it's warm, but it's not hot like this. Like this would burn you if you put if you if you grabbed it, it would burn you. I'm not sure what I can do about that, but except for just run it for short periods of time. Anyway, I'll call that a success. Um, actually, before we do that, I have to go make sure. The whole purpose of this was to make sure that it's not leaking out. I don't see any leaks there on that one. No drips. So anyway, that's very successful. I may have to actually back the timer off to five minutes three times a day or something like that because um, this pump just I don't know what the problem is it's supposed to the water itself is supposed to help keep it cool but it's definitely not it's very very hot anyway that's a problem for another time another video I guess but uh, this valve successful if any of you have a need for something like that I would recommend this it was about eight bucks from uh, I forget what the, the vendor was, but I'll put the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash ldsreliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.